Media is having a very sad day. We have to get the side. We have to get the small violin out, especially the Irish media. Um, they're literally fucking whinging about this. Um, and you'd be like, what are they whinging about? Um, it's the OnlyFans thing. I remember saying, you know, it's best that, you know, young women go out and get a job and socialise and interact with people and, you know, walk their way up on a company or a business or whatever. Um, and get to meet people and walk their way up from the bottom. And, you know, because that's more rewarding. You feel more rewarded in life than selling your body, basically, online for pictures and things like that. I, you know, obviously, I think that's a load of bollocks to be totally honest. But again, it is kind of modern day prostitution. But yeah, you might be like, why well, I'm talking about this. Holy fans, um, the, to- the the platform itself, it wasn't really created for that. It was made for fans of different things. It wasn't made for you know, pornography and things. They pictured in a puppy pictures or whatever. It wasn't made for that. Um, it wasn't intended to be that, as far as I can tell, as far as the company says. Um, but again, we have other Irish only fans people coming out from far left. I don't know where. Um, but yeah, the Irish mirrors haven't a whinge about it. They're saying you know, they own two times more. They they own a salary in a, they own two weeks, in two weeks they own a year's salary compared to you and me who walk, who actually you who walk very hard to make ends meet and we feel rewarded at the end of the week that we actually walked for our money and that we, you know, walked hard to get our money and we walked hard to buy our house we walked hard, um because again that's a, it's more rewarding take for example if you're buying a house it's more rewarding when you walk for it, um instead of selling your, it's basically selling yourself to. Get the money. That's the way I see it. But yeah, the Irish media is having a very sad day. They're literally... Because every day of the week, they literally like to go us. I haven't even talked about this before. They're like, young girls, look, you can make loads of money in this. You know, just join. Just join. The one the push this agenda. They're like, literally, just join this. Sell your body. And um, now the wind and the quip and the crying. They're like, oh, no girls can sell their bodies now. No money. They can't make any money from this. It's an outrage. Only fans should be brought to court. And this this is the argument. Now the Irish mirror probably make up. The price that the only fans themselves here. And like, you know, you couldn't make it up like literally. Like, it's just. <laughs> like, you know, I'm just laughing. <laughs> if they, it's like, look at this. Like, they decide to go bust if they don't have only fans. One, one Irish, like, one of them says, like, Jesus Christ, like, they're so full of themselves. Like, uh, they, like even the media, like, the media, I like, don't know why they're having the full time, but like, these things need to be covered and they won't cover it. Um, and like oh, like I never seen such crack in the Irish media. Like they're literally just full on, just like it's so it's devastating. Even though you know people who are on social welfare who can't walk, and there's people that are on disabilities. I know a few people, and they're struggling to make ends meet. Um, and they're on social welfare. We should be taking care of them. Um, you know, that that's a hard situation. Imagine these girls being put into that situation, having to take care. Of. Um, there's one woman I know that walks has her mother's to say, but she gets. Um, you get some money for her. Well, she has full time really just taking care of her mother. That's the same, but and can't move out of the bed, and she gets something like two hundred and five, two hundred and something a week, I think, for that. And that's all she does. That's all her life is. She doesn't have a life outside of anything else. She has to take care of her mother, and um, no other work. That she gets paid for taking care of her mother because the Irish state won't give her anybody to help her. Um, and again, only imagine these girls there, the winch and quip and quiet that they don't have money. Um, again, I'm sure. You know, this woman would rather the like I think she wanted the career. I think she wanted to be a musician in a band or something like that. But um obviously she can't do it because she has to take care of her mother but fair play to her anyway, because many people just put them in a home but say thankfully she cares for her mother. Um but yeah, just look, like literally look at the Irish media here, there's such a winter. I never seen like again, I wouldn't mind if somebody like I wouldn't mind if somebody um, you know, if there's something fierce bad, like there's things happening in the culture that they need to be addressed, and the media are nowhere to be seen. Like Golfgate, that needs to be addressed. Where's Phil Hogan? Why is he not not allowed to drive anymore? Again, very silent. Nothing said about it. And what about Leo? Um, sharing the leaks. Nothing. Nothing about that. Or T's just whinging and quibbling quiet. Like you never seen the go bust. Like it's just it's on the world. Like you, you, these people. Like the. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm only an old boomer, but it's just not my type of thing, looking at this quack. Um, but Catherine people get you, we don't need any only fans, we have, we have loads of fans. Um, we have loads of girl fans. Um, they want to find out the secret of how to get loads of money. You have to ask a Catherine man, and that's the secret, that's the secret right there. Um, but yeah, I've never seen, the, like, like fucking the media in this country, and telling you the disgrace. Um, you have to just swinge about this, like, there's very little to whinge about. Um, like again, as they say, they made two years' salary. 
Um, they're making two weeks in two weeks. They're making a year's salary. Some of them are saying. Um, then if this if though if so retire and go on and do something else. Um, like even CNN saying help sex workers popularize and only fans. Is that is uh, like, forgive me if I'm wrong, but the Irish Constitution and the law, uh, prostitution is illegal in this country. And the CNN probably it's the same in some parts of my I'd say in some states is allowed probably. Um, no, with some lefties over there, they'll be whinging. Um, but yeah, the lefties here will be whinging anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> They're always whinging about something, so it doesn't make much of a difference. Um, same as myself, whinging about everything. But it's just like it's just, and they, even one of them have them have the only fans of one of them linked, so they can just get the last set out of everybody. And it's just like it's just like jump the leg. We told you this stage. Like, you know, imagine if they were faced with a day's walk. Like, even the TDs in Doll Evan and the Senators. Imagine if they were faced with a day's walk and having to do something. Um, it'd be easy talking to them. It'd be easy talking to them. But again, it is fulfilling. And I do encourage you. Because again, they're always going to flock to some other sites. They'll find some other fucking lefty sites somewhere. Um, and they'll be all happy with that. And the media be praising it and saying, oh, God, that's great. Um, but yeah, I'm just an old conservative. Aren't I? <laughs> Sorry. Um, but no, but if they did have to do a day's walk, it's more fulfilling. I talked about this before. Um, there's a woman I knew in the in industry, and um, she works in the company. Um, and she basically started off cleaning shit in the toilets, cleaning the, you know, cleaning the toilets, basically cleaning that, cleaning the floor, washing the floor, cleaning urine toilets. Um, she basically started with that and basically just getting the minimum wage. It was nine something an hour or something like that when she said, or eight something. Um, and again, I was like, she had to put children to school and everything like that. Um, and she basically walked, she walked her way up. She walked very hard in that job. And then she got to, to you know, walking on the on the ground, I don't know, moving crates or something like that. And then she became somebody over them people. And then she became a person in an office, the secretary in the office. Um, and then she walked her way up to assist the manager and then became manager. All within 10 years, all within 10 to 11 years. Um, and she, and if you asked her, she said, you know, she felt very, because you know, she walked hard, she walked very hard, she busted herself. Um, and she worked for money, and again, she has a house now, she's paying for a mortgage, she has a house, but she got, she's getting good money um, in the job she has, and that's manager. Um, I think it's 900 and something she gets a week, which is very good for a manager, um, it's a big industry company. Um, but again, it doesn't matter, it just goes to show you that if you work hard, and if you're dedicated to your job, you're going to succeed, you're going to move up the ranks. And if you have dedication, if you have courage, again, that's what matters in a job, courage. And again, she worked hard, if she sat down on OnlyFans... You know, I don't think she would, I think she probably would say to you that she wouldn't, she wouldn't do that. She'd be that type of what, walk her way up um, and make a life for herself and feel, feel like she achieved something, feel like she got what she deserved in life. And she did. She did and I'm happy that she got what she deserved. But again, that's just a perfect example. She walked from the bottom up and she made it to the highest level of her company. Um, but again, that's just to show you how the work pays off. Um, and, you know, she's based in a great position now. Even though it might have took time, I'm sure she said it was rewarding to be at the end of it. Um, to you know, to have extra money and everything that was rewarding. Um, not like OnlyFans, like what are you achieving? Like seriously, what are you achieving? Selling the like, selling pictures to random poverts on the internet, and um, videos and things like what? Like what are you achieving? Like you, you know, go out and meet a few people. You know, it's great to meet people and it's great to socialize with people. And things that are not hiding behind a camera all the time, and um, taking new pictures of yourself and like it's like it's just. It's, it's, I don't, I don't know, but I'm just no conservative, what does what do I care? But again, Calvin people don't believe in OnlyFans, as we always said. It's probably Calvin people that actually stopped the OnlyFans. People in Calvin wouldn't buy the OnlyFans, and they were like, well, going to be bankrupt if they don't, Calvin people don't start buying OnlyFans. Um, but anyway, sad times, I'm just, I'm going to be cribbing tonight, I'm going to be very sad like the Irish media. Um, like, you know, and there's going to be a big probably discussion, probably going to have an election here, kind of, <laughs> we stated in this country. Like, it wouldn't put it past these politicians. Anyway, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.